Hey guys, what's going on? It's Derek from Derek's Horror Stuff, and today I'm here with a very special unboxing video for you. In this one, we're going to be talking about the Rob Zombie Halloween 2 Nurse Killer V2 mask from special effects artist Jamie Grove. Now, before I jump into the video, I just have to let you guys know I did make a Patreon account. Click the link in the description below to find out more information about that and how to get your name featured in the beginning of all my newest videos. Now, without further ado, let's jump into it. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Derek from Derek's Horror Stuff, and I am stoked. So randomly the other day, I was uh, looking online for Jamie Grove Halloween masks. Jamie Grove was the special effects and makeup artist for the Rob Zombie Halloween 2 movie. Uh, a while back, I had seen his stuff, and uh, there's he does some killer work. There's some awesome masks that I've seen. And uh, I, originally when I saw it, I remember I was between one that he calls the uh, Nurse Killer V2 and the Killing Field V2, which are both really, really cool. He does a couple other masks, and they're, they're all awesome. But uh, they're all out of my price range. They're like four, five, six hundred bucks. And uh, the other day, I randomly looked on eBay, and I was like, you know, I wonder what these masks are going for, because he sells this stuff on eBay sometimes. So I was like, let me check it out. So I go to pull it up and I realized that uh, the mask I liked, the Nurse Killer V2, had been discontinued. That was a 2020 thing. And he is now doing a mask for 2021. Which, don't get me wrong, that mask looks awesome. But again, it's like five, 600 bucks, way out of my price range. So um, as ironic as it is, I'm, I'm looking at the mask online. I'm like, this is a really nice mask. I really like it. So maybe I could sell something in my collection to make up for it. And I started thinking for a second, I'm like, well, what's something in my collection that I have that would make me a lot of money? So I started to think about selling, you know, either one thing or a couple different things to try to make that up. And that way I could justify buying the new mask. But the more I was thinking about it, the more I was like, ah, I can't really find anything in my collection I want to sell at the moment. This is really tough. So I think I'm just going to pass on it for now. I'll mow it over. So later on in the day, I'm talking to my wife and I'm like, hey, you know, I'm thinking about there's this cool mask and you remember from like months ago, I was talking about this other mask and now there's a new one and I can't afford it. So I was thinking about selling something in my collection. And she's like, yeah, you know, that's fine as long as you use that money to buy something that you're going to want. And I'm still kind of like, yeah, you know, if I could pick something, then maybe. And if I could sell it in time, then maybe. But I really don't want to do that. And maybe 45 minutes later, I'm scrolling through my phone and I joined some Rob Zombie uh, mask group that I actually left because there were a bunch of dicks in there. But um, I just had I had just joined it and I'm pretty sure that's where I found this mask because um, I was scrolling through and I see this mask pop up and it's the Nurse Killer V2 from Jamie Grove. And the seller only wanted like $280 uh, shipped or best offer. So. I'm like, that's a freaking steal, man. That's like almost half the price of what he wanted originally when I was going to buy it. And if I can swing this, then I'm not really going to have to bother finding something else in my collection to sell because $250 is a lot easier to make up or $280 is a lot easier to make up than, uh, you know, five, 600 bucks. So I'm like, I'm talking to my wife. I'm like, babe, look what popped up um, on my phone. It's like fate right now. Like I, I have to buy this. And uh, she gave me the thumbs up. She's like, you know what? You really want it. Go ahead, go get it. So I'm like, I just have to figure out a way to come up with this money now. Cause I'm broke, man. I'm broke. So thinking about it and you know, I'm like, you know what? I have some money in the stocks. So I had some money in uh, some oil stocks and I was like, you know what? They're worth like 200 bucks. Sell those, you know, make up the other 80 bucks or whatever. Uh, out of my paycheck and boom, I'm good. So uh, that's what I did. And then I talked to the guy, we ended up going from 280 down to 250 because I asked what's the lowest he would do. And uh, I, you know, I took the deal. So needless to say, I was very nervous about the whole thing, honestly, just because I really had never had a mask like this and I really wanted one. And I've just been waiting so eagerly for the package to arrive. And he sent it out really prompt. He sent it out three day shipping. And uh, it just kept getting bounced around on the, the tracker. It's now like, a you know, five days or a week later or something like that. But today it has arrived. It has a big hole in it here. So hopefully it's all right. So first things first, guys, I know a lot of people don't necessarily love the Rob Zombie Halloween movies. I do. I like the first one a lot. I think it's a really cool take. Um, a lot of people think that he kind of ruined Halloween Rob Zombie, but uh, I think it's cool because, you know, basically him and Carpenter had this thing worked out where, from what I understand, he was going to, uh, he, he was given the reins to just take the movie and do what he wanted with it, make what he wanted with it. And that's what he did. He went his whole white trash, you know, really shitty home life style. And I thought it worked really well. 
And then Halloween 2 came out. And Halloween 2, the thing I like most about that is, uh, well, the same as the first, we have Tyler Mayne playing Michael Myers. Tyler Mayne's a freaking beast, man. Like, I don't know. I hope you guys have seen this movie. If you don't like it, you have to at least agree with me that Tyler Mayne is a great Michael Myers. That dude is brutal. Now, some people might not like that he grunts, you know, he grunts a little bit throughout the movie, but, uh, you know, it, again, it is what it is. He's just a big serial killer, and it's awesome. Now, that being said, there are also some people who might not like the mask itself. If you don't like the mask and you like Halloween 5, I want you to keep your opinions to yourself. I have seen that mask. Are you blind? Now, let's pop this bad boy open. All right, so a bunch of bags, a bunch of Walmart bags. So there's that. But I see a mask in here. So there's not really any bubble wrap, it's just bags. So, I mean, you know, it's just a mask. I guess I have a lot of bags now for when I take my dog out to go to the bathroom, I don't know. But anyway, there is a mask in here. It's not just a bunch of rocks. That was everything I was worried about. We're good. Damn, this thing is sweet. So this from what, let me pull these bags out. All right, so from what I was told, this measures, I believe he said 27 inches around the brow, if I'm not mistaken. And he said it's a thick pool, which it definitely is. Jamie Grove usually has a signature inside, which you will see here. Uh, it just says Nurse Killer V2 2020. This thing is cool, man. Got to mess with the hair, obviously. But uh, I've really been wanting one of these. This particular one, now, if we're going to critique things here, because this is an expensive mask, so it's only fair to critique it. Um, first of all, I have to try it on. That's, you know, how I'm going to know if it fits. Hopefully it fits or else I'm going to be pissed off because I planned on wearing this thing a lot. I have a lot of ideas. <laughs> the only thing I would say is a little bit off on this one is the paint um, just because I've seen some of his that are really really good um, and I, I really think they're well done and I think this is good too but um, I feel like the paint is very inconsistent throughout it and I did notice that in the pictures that the seller sent me I was still interested in it and I still purchased it obviously um, but I did notice that the paint seems a little bit blotchy and uh, again you know I know you're, you're, we're kind of going for a dirty gross dingy look here um, but I think like specifically by the nose, I don't know if you could see in this light, but um, this particular area, these cheeks over here, I feel like he could have done a little bit more maybe to blend this a little bit more or something along those lines. But either way, man, like this thing looks cool. I have to kind of hold it back so I can see it all the way. Wow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm pumped about it. I'm going to get some of the H2 uh, coveralls. Found a guy on Facebook who does them. I'm gonna check him out. I don't wanna say anything yet because I can't recommend somebody's work if I haven't seen it. I, don't, I just don't do that. If I don't personally have it or uh, haven't experienced it in my hands, then I can't recommend them. But let's try on this mask and see how it looks. Hopefully it fits really well. I've been really excited for this for a while now. I don't know if you guys can hear me now, uh, but you can see me. So how does it look? I can't see myself. I hope it looks pretty good. I can feel that on the back of my neck, there is, it's quite open, meaning I'm stretching the mask quite a bit right now. It's very tight on my face. It's, uh, it fits, but it's incredibly tight on me. Um, my nose is just barely fitting in here right now, so it's a little bit more difficult to breathe. I don't know that I can wear this for very extended periods of time, which kind of defeats some of the purpose of why I bought it. But, you know, again, it's a really cool mask. If nothing else, I'll have it on display, but I do have to take it off or I will pass out from being in this mask. All right, so, you know, like I said, it's a little tight in there. Um, that's what she said. And I just don't know. I think I'm going to wear it. I'm going to, I'm still going to wear it. This is, this is a mask I've been wanting for a long time. Uh, but it's hard because I have such a big head. So I'm going to have to kind of pick and choose my battles with this guy. Aside from that, though, it's going to make an awesome display. No doubt about it. Give you guys just another look at it here. 
you haven't seen, I'll just do a little twirl. I didn't get a mask stand for it or make a mask stand for it yet. And I kind of regret that. I wish I did before I picked it up, but I've been working a lot and time has not been kind to me. So, <laughs> so that's it guys. This is the mask that I've been waiting on. Let me know in the comments what you think about it. I think Jamie Grove is a very good artist. I think the sculpt is very well done. I think the paint is a little bit, you know, shaky. Um, I think that could be fixed up a bit. I think the blood is done really well. A lot of people, when they do blood, it's like super red, but this is kind of cool. This is like an actual blood color. So I do like that a lot. Now for 500 bucks, I don't know. I don't know if I want it for 500 bucks, but for 250 bucks, I think that's a steal. But uh, let me know. Let me know what you think about this. Let me know. All right, guys, so that about wraps it up. I want to thank you guys for watching. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can keep up to date with all my new content. Follow me on social media by clicking the links in the description below. And don't forget to hit that Patreon so you can get your name featured in the beginning of all my newest videos. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.